number of things that we're going to talk about here today. So, Paris, get us started here. What's the first thing we're talking about today? Yes. So, from Variety, Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga are ready to give the people what they want in the new <laughs> Joker 2 trailer. Joaquin Phoenix's Arthur Fleck is finding himself being considered some sort of a martyr and endured the trial of the century. Throughout the trailer, Fleck deals with apparent stardom with Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn sharing that with Fleck for once she doesn't feel so alone. Hmm. The film opens on October 4th. John, what do you think of the new Joker 2 trailer? I, I'm torn. To be honest with you, I'm torn. Here's why. Now, granted, remember, this movie is still like three months away, yeah. right? So it, we are still going to get a lot more promotion and all that kind of stuff. Here's why I'm torn. On the one hand, some of the stuff in it is awesome. Like him taking the mallet and about to bash the judge's yeah. brains in. The whole scene about, let's give them what they want, baby. And all that kind of stuff. Like, so, there was such a high number of great moments. And you got to understand, I am super excited for this movie. Like, I, I, I loved the first Joker. I know not everybody did. I did. I loved the first Joker. So, I'm really looking forward to this one. Here's the, the problem, the, the, the struggle. The struggle that I have with this trailer, though. I am still very unclear watching these trailers. What parts of this trailer are real? What parts of this trailer are fantasy just in Joker's head? And which parts of this trailer are parts of musical numbers? Like right now, I was talking to a friend of mine this morning where like, we still don't know how many musical numbers are in it. And that's fine because if good musical numbers, have as many as you want. But I'd like to get a bit of a sense for it. The biggest thing to me is I don't know when I'm seeing something really cool in the trailer of, okay, is that something that actually happens in the movie or is that something that just happens in Arthur's imagination, in, in his fantasy or in Harley's fantasy and which parts are real? And I would like to get a little bit of a sense as to which parts are truly a part of the movie. What events, if I was living in that Gotham, if I was living in that world, what parts of it are actually real and actually happening? And until I get a sense as to which parts of the trailer are just pure fantasy in his imagination and which parts are actually real, I got to admit it's hard to get too excited about the trailer. It's not hard for me to be excited about the movie. That's already happened. I'm excited for this movie. October 4th can't get here soon enough for me. Cannot wait to see it. But for me... Again, well, that looked really cool, but I don't know if that's just something that happens in imagination. And if it happens just in his imagination, then it doesn't really affect the, the story too much. And I, I don't know. So I'm, I'm a little bit on the fence about the trailer, not about the movie, but just about the trailer. You guys saw the trailer. Did, how, how did it hit any of you guys? I mean, I loved it. I, I have a feeling, just because I, I watched it a few times, that, to your point, the scenes that seem to be very dark... Clearly, this is like in his head. They're not performing for an audience. Is it? Yeah. Is it clear? Unless they're or does under, it unless the audience happen? is under duress. Right. Uh, but yeah. there are certain scenes where this is really happening. Sure. Yeah. And yeah. and it's a normal lighting around him. Mm -hmm. And then there's scenes where like they come out of the courthouse or they're in the courthouse and it's darkened around him. And he's the only one as as if he's on a spotlight. And I think those are the scenes that are in his imagination in his head. So it's a scene. I think they're telling it with the lighting, but that's just a guess. I don't know for sure. Yeah, because what I don't want to have happen here is another case of sucker punch, where it's like, oh, it turns out the whole movie was just in her imagination, and none of it actually meant anything. And uh, wasn't there a part where he uh, ha has the uh, the gavel and you yeah, hit yeah, about the judge yeah, head? Yeah. I don't know if that's real. Yeah, like, oh, in his head. I feel like I again, that's, that's real. real. I hope it's real <laughs> too. Real? Here's the why. I, here's why I don't think it's real. He just sits there and looks at him reach up and then doesn't flinch and then he gets hit and but like, wow what an impactful and, and the the courtroom there it's all dark around him and he's got a spotlight on him uh, but whereas that, there's other scenes yeah where see the, if that the scene is, is just in his imagination i'm going to be really yeah. disappointed but, but the, it's still it's an impactful shot i mean uh, that's the, if sure. it's that's real a, and not no pun intended his that's the thing shot. i, I mean I, feeling about uh, lady gaga being Harley Quinn. I'm, I'm fine with it. I, she's really great. If you watch American Horror Story, of, of course, A Star is Born. She's a phenomenal actress, but I've seen a lot of hate that they miss Margot Robbie. They don't think Lady Gaga should have gotten the part. I think she's going to kill it. 
Um, and from what we've seen in the trailer, I feel like she fits perfectly in in this Joker world. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Miracle Made. Guys, it's hot outside and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality. So if you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Miracle Made sheets are inspired by NASA and use silver infused fabrics that are temperature regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. There are just so many things that make these sheets so fantastic. We already mentioned the self cooling properties for better quality sleep, but they're also self-cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. So go to trymiracle.com slash campia. That's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E.com slash campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code Campia checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Campia and use the code Campia to claim your free three piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Campia to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode yeah. all right guys question is for you what did you think about the new trailer for joker folia do I, I a lot of really cool imagery in it but it's it's difficult to get excited about the trailer for me when i don't know which parts are actually things happening in the movie and which parts are just happening as imagination whatever you guys thought about it jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.